Well, joining me now is Patriot Captain Matthew Slater. And with everything that's going on, how are you doing personally? You know, it's it's uh, been a challenging week, my friend. Um, I think for the whole NFL community. Um, but you know what? What keeps coming to the forefront of my mind is just Demar and his health and his mm -hmm. well-being. And you know, a lot of people have sat back this week and talked about so many different things pertaining to this situation. But I think we don't want to lose sight of the fact that uh, we're praying for a young man uh, to make a full recovery. Mm -hmm. We want to see him be healthy, be able to live a healthy, full life. And um, you know, we we need to continue to pray for that. So. I think that's really been what's occupied my thoughts in my free time is just praying for him, asking the Lord to, to be with him, continue to heal his body, be with the people that are treating him, be with his family, and um, you know, hopefully hoping for the best day by day. Well, the good news is he is getting better, and that's good news all the way around. We are in uncharted territory right now, and as a team captain, what advice do you give your teammates? Yeah, you know what? I, I think this week is is less about me giving advice and more about just being there, mm. um, you know, praying with guys, praying for guys, just being available uh, to talk about life, to talk about concerns that guys may have, questions that may, guys may have, uh, concerns and questions that I may have. Um, you know, this week has been more about just having conversations and you know, just being connected with my brothers, and you know, it's been it's been a good week. You know, most of the times we're talking to you after a tough loss or after a big time win. This is something totally different. How do you put everything in perspective? Yeah, you know, that's a great question um, because I think perspective is oftentimes lost in this business. You know, we get so infatuated with, you know, the success of teams, the success of players and individuals, uh, and all the things that, in the grand scheme of things, don't matter at all. Mm -hmm. And I think it reminds you of the fragility of life, um, as James writes, uh, all our lives are but a vapor. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's a reminder that that vapor can, can go uh, just like that. So I think it makes you appreciate your family more. It makes you appreciate the life you have. Uh, it makes you appreciate just waking up in the morning, having breath in your lungs, being able to go about your day. Um, and we get away from that, mm -hmm. right? We, it's easy for us to veer from that. Uh, but I think this has been a, a week for a lot of people to recenter themselves. And, and I think that's been very needed. Do you think that the league and the Patriots organization is doing all they can to support? Yeah, I believe so. Look, this is an unprecedented situation. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people are searching for answers in mm -hmm. some cases. And they're trying to do the best thing. And, and I believe that everyone wants to do the best thing in, in terms of DeMar and his health and well-being. So, you know, I love what we've done as an organization. I, I think the leadership here has been fantastic from Mr. Kraft to Bill, who's done a, a great job of leading this team this week. And, you know, I believe that teams in the league as a whole uh, are trying to do their best. Um, but, again, let's, you know, this is about – DeMar and about supporting him however we can and uh, you know I think a lot of people are trying to do that. And yet you still have to go play a game on Sunday so mm -hmm. how do you get the team refocused and zero in on the game that you guys have to play? Yeah it's a unique challenge um, because you don't want to minimize anything that's gone on this week um, so I think it's you know you first start by processing it as best you can mm -hmm. in a compressed amount of time and then I think from there you realize, hey, as a team, we have a very unique opportunity ahead of us. Right. Uh, we're playing for our playoff lives, um, and you know we want to take advantage of the opportunity we have to play the game that we love, uh, the game that we we've, we've chosen to play and we've been gifted to play, and uh, you know we want to make the most of that opportunity. Good luck on Sunday, my friend. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.